lot of people in top stories with Ray. Uh, maybe this is all news, but uh, I'm gonna answer uh, because uh, I was looking in the YouTube videos and I was stopped by a video of Dr. David Morrison, a NASA space scientist. He he talked about uh, the 2012 uh, event that uh, all the people are talking about. He say in that video, it's like, it's like seven months old, that is nothing is going to happen. That the solar flares are very low. That don't worry about anything. I just gonna ask Mr. David Morrison this question: Why? Mr. Michio Kaku, a scientist on Fox News, told us about uh, the problem that a big solar storm uh, will have on Earth and that they are expecting a big solar storm, the peak of the sun, by 2012-2013. Okay, he said that a big storm can cause uh, devastation on the electrical, uh, electronics, and uh, satellite systems. That's the first about Michio Kaku on Fox. Even so, like one month before or three weeks uh, before today, June 25th, Dr. Richard Fisher, the director of NASA Heliophysic Division, from NASA, from where you, David Morrison, uh, are, is, he told us that a big solar storm will reach Earth about 2012 to 13, and that event will be new to human history. So, two scientists are saying that the, that the solar storm is it's, got no, it's not gonna be easy and it's gonna be hard times also in weather.com uh, they place uh, the news about the sun awakening so I asked you Dr. David Morrison are you lying or you don't know where you are because your same people from NASA told us about the solar uh, storm and Dr. Michio Kaku on Fox News told us about the event on 2012-2013 okay another thing I was looking on 1058 that the past solar storm hit the earth and damaged the the telegraph okay in that uh, the year, I was trying to find some information on earthquakes. I find like four, and here's the data. This was a, a the a earthquake that was in Quito, Ecuador, that killed five thousand people. There was another in Chamaki that took place on December 2, 1859 in the Baku government region. There is another in 1859 earthquake this time in Guatemala, El Salvador, Nicaragua and make a tsunami. There is another earthquake that killed more than 15,000 people in Turkey in, in June 2, 1859. So. There is no much information on earthquake on that year because uh, they track earthquakes uh, more recently. But I think th that's like four that I can found. I know there may be more earthquakes and I don't know how many deaths. So the solar flares, as I think, have influence on earthquakes. So it's, it's a big huge solar storm like you saying or the that NASA are warning and now 
other people are wanting us so first the solar flare need to be very 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 strong to kill all system like satellites uh, phones GPS so how the earth is gonna react to that solar flares and how strong we can see earthquakes if if the influence is big and there's big earthquakes like the Haiti ones that happened in Haiti and killed 200,000 people around the world and then come the tsunamis then the event is gonna be big and huge and I don't think you are saying the truth I just ask you to to answer what now has been talking by the same people as you are NASA and by Dr. Michio Kaku on Fox News and the weather that come why you are lying just answer us I you expect an answer I don't know if uh, maybe you never gonna hear about this uh, uh, story or comment that I'm making or you will never answer because uh, uh, you people answer what you want and hide what you want to so the real people the public don't know what's real going on because the government and NASA will never tell us the truth only the things that you want us to know thank you and have a nice day